Hey guys, this is Brandon with FTPTraining.com. So today I wanted to show you finder tags and how you can implement them into Final Cut Pro. So let's get into it. So I don't know if you've seen the tags before, but they're usually at the bottom of the sidebar. The default ones are these colors here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray, and then there's a button for all tags, okay? So first of all, we're gonna go to our downloads folder, and right here we've got our Final Cut Pro folder template. First of all, I'm gonna show you how I can make a tag and why it's cool to make tags. Right here, I'm gonna click on this zip file. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna click, in fact, let's just create a new one. FCPX folder template dot zip. But I'll show you what I'm going to do here and why I'm doing this, and you guys will see what I'm doing. So all I'm going to do is hit create new. Now what it did is it created this tag, but it made the color, like there is no color here. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go up to Finder here. I'm going to go to Preferences. So on this menu bar, the second tab in is Tags. And if we click on that, we're going to scroll down to this one that we created called Final Cut Pro Folder Template Zip. Okay, And then if we click right here, this will then give us a bunch of color options. So I like Final Cut's gray. I like to keep everything that's Final Cut in that gray color space, so I'm going to go ahead and click gray on that. And then notice that this now created a gray dot next to the FCP folder template. So it's like, well, why did you just create a tag on this one? Well, the nice thing is if I come down here, I can actually click this box next to it, which is going to display this into my sidebar. See how it is right here? The other nice thing is I can actually click and drag this up so that it's at the top of my tags. So the nice thing is if you, let's say, tuck away this folder template zip file into another hard drive or somewhere else and it's buried deep and I couldn't find it, this is really convenient to just be able to click here and then find it. The other cool thing is, let's say I want to, if I go to downloads here, let's just go ahead and delete this the folder that it created. So if I come back to tags, and if I double click this, then it auto launches a new window with where it's at. So it's a quick way to get to it. And then all I have to do is hit the return key and I can type my project, okay? Now the other cool thing is I'm gonna do this again, double click, and I'm gonna hit my project two. Okay, so the reason I created these two folders is so that I can show you how effective this is with using tags for all this stuff. The other cool thing is I saved all these out for you automatically with tags. So if you come over here to the sidebar, you can see all of these files that have had pre-generated tags. So a common one that I would do is uh, a video one and an FCP library one. And then I actually don't like to display any other tags and I'll show you why. So if I come down here now, my tags, I've got two tags. Okay, so now I've got three. I just wanna make sure that I kept my folder uh, template zip file. The other thing is you can, like I said, you can click and drag these around to organize them however you see fit. So I actually wanna make sure that I have the FCP library files checked and I'm gonna uncheck the this library. So there's a difference between library and library files. So now if we come back to the finder window, the nice thing is if you click on library files, you'll see here that I've got a bunch of files that I have marked. And then we're gonna scroll up to my downloads folder where I actually have my FCP folder template.zip file living. If we go back to the folders that we created, one for my project and my project two, if we actually dive into these and we call these my project, and then we'll go back and we'll do same thing to this one. My 
project two. All right, now if we go over to the tags for the FCPX library files, isn't that cool? So basically any file that you've created and have tagged FCPX library file, it'll show up here. So if you think about it, we've, we're gonna have files on different hard drives. We're gonna have files all over the computer. The nice thing is if you don't have them all in one location, you can easily access all of your project library files right here. This is so cool. I love tags and I love how organized you can be with these tags. Another thing to mention about the tags is if we were to go into, let's say, we'll go back to the downloads here. If to go into each project library, you'd have to click on the folder that they live in, you know, go into the library and then click the project here. With tags, if you do it properly, you can click once here, you double click on your project and then you're ready to launch into Final Cut Pro. All right, and now real quick, I just wanted to show you one more way to use tags. Okay, so in this clips folder, I've got two different kinds of footage, one from a CF card, one from an SD card. We're gonna show you how to tag these videos and then how to use those tags and import these clips into Final Cut. So here we go. We're actually gonna come back to this pane and if it's not open, you can go ahead and open it. So if I go back to the tags, preferences then we're going to click one that's for CF cards and one for SD cards and then these will show up here now the cool thing is all this footage here is considered video so all you have to do is click and drag these onto video and then what we're gonna do is these clips right here were shot on an SD card and these clips were shot on a CF card And you can see like what it actually did. I've got technically two tags here. So if I click on one of these videos and then I click the tag button, this actually shows me all the different tags that I have. And the nice thing is all we're doing is we're basically putting metadata onto each one of these clips. The reason that that's so cool and powerful is that if we do the work up front of doing all this stuff in tags, I'm gonna show you how cool it is to then import this footage into Final Cut. All right, so we're gonna come down here to the, our library files. We're gonna click my project. So this will be a brand new project. I'm gonna show you how to import this footage and how it uses tags inside Final Cut. So we're gonna hit Command I. We're gonna to navigate to the movies folder, clips. I'm gonna hit import. And then we wanna make sure that keywords from finder tags is selected. And I also like using from folders as well. We're gonna click import. And now if we come over to here, we see here that it created a tag for our CF footage, one for our SD footage. We had one from clips, but that we also did one of video. So video would be everything. Clips would be as well, cause that was inside that folder. So there you have it. Isn't that cool guys? Like how if you spend the time up front and do your organization from the finder and if you use the correct tags, it's just a great way to be organized. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, my name is Brandon with FDPtraining.com and until next time, go to FDPtraining.com for other tutorials, templates, and Final Cut Pro tools.